When Arcane Studios began development of Dishonored in 2009, they had one goal in mind, to help reignite the stagnating creativity of AAA gaming. According to Viktor Antonov, the art director behind Dishonored, in the gaming industry today, there are too many sequels and too many established IPs that have been ruling the market. And a lot of them are war games. And they're great projects and great entertainment, but there is a lack of variety. With that in mind, Arcane set out to create an art style and story that felt truly unique on the modern gaming scene. But to do that, they looked to the steampunk genre and the real-world Victorian era history to inform their in-game universe. In fact, initially, Dishonored was going to take place in a virtual London. The game's directors, Harvey Smith and Raphael Colantonio, confirmed this, saying, As a team, we started out talking about historical London, the plague, gangs, and the new whaling industry. As we added new elements like the supernatural and steampunk oppression technology, we slowly realized that we were creating a new universe. This is very obvious in the game's original concept art. Check out this beautiful pencil sketch, which was the very first piece of art ever created for the game and drawn to look as much like London in 1666 as possible. When Dishonored eventually did go on to create its own city, instead of using London, the parallels are certainly still there. The deadly rat plague running amok throughout the streets of Dunwall is very similar to London's bubonic plague, with thousands dying of the disease. Jeez. Houses where the plague had hit in London were marked with a red mark, very similar to how it was depicted in the game. Maybe the weirdest parallel though is that in both cases, rats were unfairly blamed for the terrible disease. In the game, it is revealed that the plague was caused by the royal spymaster Hiram Burroughs, who introduced it into Dunwall as a way to control the poor population of the city. In the real world, the cause came from a less nefarious but no less deadly source. Fleas. Fleas were commonly found on many of the unwashed populations at the time. Anyway, once the production of the game changed to be set in a fictional city of Dunwall instead of historic London, Arcane Studios began to draw on the history of other European countries to fill out their fictional world. This included Arcane's native France. One example is seen in the poster found in the Dunwall brothel, The Golden Cat, which draws heavily on a famous poster for the Le Cher Noir, a long-standing nightclub in the Montmartre district of France. I am so bad at French. Why is French so weird? The Le Chal de la Chat Noir is considered <laughs> so bad at French. It's considered by many to be the first Cabernet club in the world, where customers would enjoy an atmosphere not unlike the Golden Cat. And the district it's located in is historically known for its high number of sex workers, which draws yet another comparison to Dunwall's favorite brothel. The Le Chat Noir still stands today, by the way, though it is a high-end hotel now and probably less rowdy than it was back in its heyday. As the main character character of Dishonored, Corvo Antano, the player spends a lot of time perched on the roofs of Dunwall. Maybe it shouldn't come as a surprise then that the word Corvo means crow and raven in Italian and Portuguese. That's not the only name with hidden meaning. The word Dun means fort in Gaelic, while in Old English the word meant gray or drab. Both of these definitions give away aspects of the city itself, as it has the security of a fortress and, let's be honest, it's a pretty damn depressing place to be. Fans of Dishonored will recognize the name Samuel Beechworth, Corvo's riverboat pilot in the game. The character is voiced by Ryan Cutrona, but Harvey Smith has revealed on social media that his original choice for the role was Christopher Lee, who many of you may recognize from his roles in Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. But many believe his early career had a big influence on Dishonored as well. This is because of Lee's iconic Dracula movies, which basically defined the look of Victorian era England on screen during the 1960s. A lot of Dishonored's grisly Victorian violence seems to call these films to mind as well. Thanks for watching our first ever Dishonored episode of Hidden History. If you want to see more episodes about the game, please, you know, like, share, and all that stuff. And anyway, let's get to the trivia. All right, so last week we asked you about the Pip-Boy and its startup screen, which says that the Pip-Boy 4 has 64K of RAM and 38,911 bytes free. And we asked you what machine this was a reference to. The answer was the Commodore 64. Next up, of course, is a dishonored question. Located in Piero's workshop, the inventor's door to nowhere is a reference to what popular game series? A, Legend of Zelda, B, 
Portal, C, Thief, or D, The Elder Scrolls? 